So today we are going to see how to use Ubuntu 20 desktop on Amazon AWS. Very simple, so we are in the AWS uh, marketplace. So we are going to see for, look for Ubuntu desktop 2204 and we are going to use NiceDCB, which is an um, incredibly fast and secure uh, desktop protocol. So here we go, there is an image. And then we can just click continue to subscribe. The first uh, five days, uh, everything is free. So you are gonna pay only the uh, EC2 price, but not the product itself. Otherwise, even after that, the pricing is just two cents per hour. So really, really small. Then you can uh, pick your uh, region. I'm gonna pick Frankfurt and then just click continue to subscribe at this point uh, I have to usually accept the contract let's see it's gonna be zero dollars I say then I can continue to the configuration and from now on it's important that we pick again our region in my case Frankfurt and then the delivery method and the latest version is already 1.0 so continue to launch that's pretty much it we can skip usage instruction because everything is so simple so let's click launch affirmation click on it we are directly in a template stack for uh, um, for cloud formation so we just can click next and select the uh, parameters so let's pick our vpc uh, subnet and then in my case i will allow access to everyone but obviously i strongly advise to put here your ip address and here slash 32 to let only yourself access uh, the server then the disk size is going to be like 50 gigabyte Keep our name is, is mine and then a password pick a simple password and then you can change it uh, later but pick a random one then as public IP to true oh, I have to give a name the name can be Ubuntu desktop 20 okay then just double checking the password okay click next then a uh, key like name lookout and then another tag like and development then nothing else i can just skip everything and click next so nice this is a quick recap of the, my parameters the dpc the password and so forth so i can just click create stack boom i'm creating uh, the stack obviously it will take a couple of minutes because it has to create some resources like the uh, network um, the, the networking card the yum roll the elastic IP to associate to your instance then the EC2 instance itself and then obviously if we reload after a couple of seconds you can see a lot more things being created so the creation is in progress so let's go back to our cloud formation I think now it's probably done yes and if we go in the output we have those links one is a public URL that we can directly use to access our instance, even if I strongly recommend to use the official nice DCV client. DCV client is, is extremely powerful um, system to access your instance. We are going to take a look at it um, later.
Okay, the connection is working. Yeah. And here we go. Here is our new uh, version. You can also optimize the resolution and set it to full screen. And here we go, a full screen setup with our Ubuntu. Brand new Ubuntu, so we can even finish the, the setup. Uh, so yeah, it's just, uh, just installed. And then we can even install immediately some other tools. So let's, let's close this. And as we can see, we can uh, directly use some uh, services. So that's pretty much it. And now um, everything works with nice ECV. So we can keep the instance running. They will keep running over our said We can also authenticate via uh, via browser. Let's do that. Okay, this is really good because I'm now using just a browser. So the client is a browser, nothing more. And um, everything is left where I, where I was. So again, I can even run basically a browser in a browser, which is a kind of inception thing and look back at our video, but in a completely different machine. That's pretty much it. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.